The Allen County Department of Health is now talking more about a case of tuberculosis at the Fort Wayne Rescue Mission. We brought you that story Monday, but no one would comment on it. News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer has more information now. Well, the health department says it wasn't up to them in this situation to comment, but now they've been given the okay. What changed from that to today? Donovan from, from the rescue mission, he felt like maybe we should go ahead and we, they felt comfortable. It's really up to the entity that's involved. Two days after I asked for an interview about a tuberculosis case at the rescue mission, we're getting some answers. Health Commissioner Dr. Deborah McMahon says she understands why volunteers from the last year who got an alert to get tested could be alarmed. It's always kind of disconcerting when you realize that by doing good things, whether it's volunteering or providing health care, you, you put yourself at risk. But they're reminding the public that in this case, the risk isn't high. The risk really here posed to 90% of the people that we have contacted, very, very, very low, but it's not zero. CEO Donovan Coley also denied an interview on Monday, but sent us this statement today. When we were notified that an individual with active tuberculosis had stayed with us for a short period of time within the past year, we believed it was prudent to notify our residents, volunteers, and staff. The man was not a programming resident of ours, and there are a number of places he has stayed within the past year. I also talked with McMahon about the two stages of TB, one that's harder to detect, and TB disease, or active TB, that can be deadly. The, the disease, it's not like a simple pneumonia, it's six months of treatment at a minimum. So it's it's not a, a simple thing to, to uh, treat. That's why we're very in an abundance of caution really trying to make sure that everybody who could have even potentially been exposed are identified. McMahon says a third of the world has TB and it doesn't discriminate. Allen County had six cases of active TB last year and 17 the year before. She hopes all of this doesn't deter volunteers or visitors. You know I don't want that. I, that's what I really don't want is for people to have a stigma about we have cases of TB all the time, and they're in all different pop populations. There's no one high-risk group, per se. So I just want people to realize, go out and do your thing. Just be safe. You can still get a free test if you're worried, and that info is on Wayne.com. As a reminder, this was just at the main rescue mission, not the Karis House, which is the women's shelter nearby. In Studio 15, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.